the long drawn disagreement between Baidu's and its lenders has intensified. The Indian EdTech major has sued American investment management firm Redwood and related entities in the New York Supreme Court for accelerating the repayment of a $1.2 billion term loan B or TLB. The Bengaluru headquartered company also missed its quarterly interest payment of $40 million for the TLB. Through its suit, Baiju's is seeking to disqualify its lender Redwood. Baiju's alleges that Redwood has resorted to predatory tactics and that it has acquired a sizable stake in term loan B with the intent of making windfall gains. In its New York lawsuit, Baiju's has argued that it isn't in violation of its US debt contract. While the agent for the lenders has declared a default and demanded immediate repayment of the loan, Baiju's has asked the court to dismiss the default. According to Baiju's, its current debt crisis has been caused by aggressive distressed debt investors who shouldn't have been able to buy the loan. According to Bloomberg, the lawsuit claims that the debt contract prohibits lenders from selling their stakes to any entity on a list of disqualified lenders or investors who specialize in distressed debt. For their part, the lenders have said that Baiju's lawsuit is meritless and designed to dodge obligations. There's another lawsuit underway, which Baiju's is fighting in a Delaware court against lenders who have proposed to take over Baiju's Alpha, a US entity of the edtech firm, by putting the representative in charge after an alleged default earlier in 2023. According to Baiju's, the lenders in March had accelerated the repayment of the term loan B or TLB, citing certain alleged non-monetary and technical defaults. For its part, Baiju's maintains that it has not defaulted on any repayment of the TLB. Citing the legal proceedings in Delaware and New York, Baiju's has said that it has elected not to make any further payment to TLB lenders, including any interest, until the dispute is settled in court. Baiju's has added that it remains open to discussions with the TLB lenders. Baiju's arranged a $1.2 billion term loan in November 2021 to finance global acquisitions. Now, it has gone to court after several weeks of negotiations with the lenders in a bid to finalize new terms for the disputed loan agreement. According to a financial daily, the delay by Baiju's in filing the audited financials for FY21 and FY22 led to the new agreement and terms for the TLB. The company is yet to file its audited FY22 results. While we have to wait and watch how the lawsuits conclude, how can Baiju's for its part weather the latest storm? Till about recently, it did not even have a proper full-time CFO. So to that extent, that indicates to you how Baiju's has uh, not paid attention to business fundamentals in its growth journey. And it is now only uh, feeling the stress or the pinch of all these. And I think the corrective action for Baiju's is to hunker down, not chase valuations, Many public market investors uh, like BlackRock, etc. have valued or written down Baiju's valuations. So they can, Baiju's may have to raise funds, new funds at much, much lower valuations just to ensure that it survives. Obviously, it has got to cut costs, cut some businesses uh, aggressively and work towards a path to profitability. Uh, it also has to put in place Fundamentals of business adhere to some basic value systems, which seems to have been missing all these days. Baiju's most urgent requirement on the financial side is to get profitable. FY21, it ended with a loss of over 4,500 crores. And it's seen that the revenue increase is also not as robust as it was earlier. So how to increase efficiency and achieve cost optimization are the key areas that the company is working upon. Because valuations ultimately demand profitability. It does appear that Baiju's is taking some measures aimed at cutting costs. Having already laid off about 1,000 employees in 2023, the startup is expected to lay off more employees. The crisis also comes at an inconvenient time for Baiju's. The Enforcement Directorate had recently conducted searches at several premises linked to the startup as part of a probe into alleged violation of foreign exchange rules. On a separate note, Baiju's filed its 2020-21 results in September 2022 after a nearly 18-month delay and posted losses of 4,588 crore rupees, 19 times more than in the preceding year. Concerns have also been raised that many crises faced by Baiju's could also have an impact on the larger Indian startup ecosystem. Regarding such apprehensions, what does the expert Business Standard spoke to have to say? Overall, BC funding and equity dilution for raising funds has hit a roadblock. Post the setbacks faced by many in the venture capital business and it is no more that easy. So raising funds on lofty valuations is no more easy as it used to be few quarters back. Lenders have also doubled down on more financial parameters 
before making fresh investments. And it appears that the checks and balances are here to stay and that they won't go away in the near future. While the court cases play out overseas, for its part, Baiju's must focus on cutting costs, raising funds, even at valuations lower than it may like, and putting in place governance structures. A concerted effort across all these fronts could give India's most valued startup a longer lease of life as it tries to overcome multiple crises, including the latest term loan challenge. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard